All right, lads, we're going to check out the D23 news event in Fortnite on an actual Fortnite creative map. And I'm going to parse this live event for all the pertinent information related to Fortnite. Because if you didn't know a bit of history, Disney is a large shareholder of Epic Games. It owns about roughly 10%. And Chapter 5 Season 4 is already confirmed to be a Marvel season featuring X-Men, Doctor Doom, and a whole bunch of other things. We also had the Pirates of the Caribbean crossover this season, and we've had numerous Star Wars crossovers. So it can definitely be said that Disney is the biggest collaborator with Fortnite and Epic Games in the history of this game. So let's hop in and see if they announce anything important during this event. It is currently the dead of night, almost 12 a.m. Eastern time. And there's a million people on this map watching this event. Emo to cheer, please clap, it's like I'm a live studio audience right now. We can actually sit with our little banana self, really? Is Disney has a hype meter for this? I gotta hype up Disney to get them to announce stuff. In my hometown, we call that astroturfing. Oh look, there's XP coins up there. What is this? Are they actually worth something? It's hard to tell, because there's no XP pop-up. I don't know if there's worth anything. 21 of 100. So they're just a collectible part of this map. Just to give us something to do while the event is waiting to start, I guess. By the way, if you play this map for a minimum of 10 minutes, you might still be able to play it when this video is up. The code will be on the screen. You will get a special back bling, a Wolverine back bling. I'm also gonna put that on the screen to show you. So I would recommend trying it out even if you didn't get to play this map on the first day it went up. It still might work for you by the time the new season starts because they're not giving away these back blings until the Marvel season starts, which is on the checks computer 16th a little later i'm literally just gonna emote until this meter goes up all the way i don't know what it does how it works but we know we're making progress do continuous emotes really not work oh my god it just it just disappeared that's absurd what does that mean emote to cheer it's impossible to get to the top of that. Much, much later. Oh my god, I am like two-thirds through this enthusiasm meter. I don't know whose idea this was. It's terrible. If this is how we have to start the show, this is the worst way to start the show. It's going faster now. I think everyone else is starting to join in. They're seeing how close it is. Oh, thank you. We have the power of friendship backing us up. The power of God and anime is on our side. And what do we get for all this? Oh, what happened? It's like going back down. The enthusiasm, it died. No. We just spent all that time getting it up to the top. And then it just, it just went back down. What was the point? And no one's figured out how to get these two coins after all this time. And the show still hasn't started. Like what is, what is happening here? Oh my God, dude. Like unironically, they hyped this event up. And it's been like, it should have started 30 minutes ago, dude. I thought I was going to be late, or I was hoping that this event would be on a time delay. And it hasn't even started yet. I was fashionably late, and Disney was even later to the party. God, that's just typical Disney. So damn rude. Much, much, much later. Alright, we're loading back in. And look, you want to know the absurd reason why it wasn't working? because I had licensed audio on mute. One of the features of Fortnite, and for some reason, Disney makes their presentation licensed audio. The Millennium Falcon ride smokers There you go. So we're gonna get some sort of flight sim with the Millennium Falcon. Just fantastic. It's been amazing, you know, going back to 2018, the relationship we have with Epic is great. Wow, everyone is on the stage. Feige, the whole team is there. A lot of people learn about our characters for the first time. Thanos, Galactus, through Fortnite. So we get a chance that everybody can learn about our heroes and our villains. Okay, so what Kevin Feige is saying is that we'll see a lot of superheroes coming to Fortnite that have not been in any movies before. Coming to Fortnite is Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom Returns. We, we all kind of knew this. They literally just announced Robert Downey Jr. Here we go, boys. Fortnite trailer. He's opening Pandora's box. Is 
The Cap'n returns. Cap'n Jonesy. Okay. Emma Frost, Mysterio. Cyclops. We already seen these skins. Nice. The Pilverine. Is that Sabretooth? No, that's a Meow School Sabretooth. Absolute Doom. Oh, nice, nice. We're seeing the actual powers here. Gwenpool confirmed. With Iron Man redeploy. Wow, that is like so extra compared to the Chapter 2 powers. Double Blasters, Deadpool inspired. Okay, you just, you have the War Machine, I guess. Absurd. And then it only makes sense, you have the magical equivalent as well. That is everything we wanted and more. And that is actually the sum total of the Disney presentation. They said, hey, we're doing more Star Wars. Hey, next season is Marvel. No fucking shit, Disney. You think I didn't already know that? God damn, you put me through all this headache at 12 a.m. in the goddamn morning East Coast. I also want to briefly mention that because we ended up in a glitched map, we didn't see the initial announcements that were pretty minor as well. Namely, that The Incredibles are going to come to Fortnite and also that they're going to adapt some of the Disney villains into the game. These are most likely going to include creative experiences as well as Disney has openly stated that's where their main focus is beyond the skins. Since the doors are pretty much wide open for any Disney property, comment down below what your most desired Disney crossover is in Fortnite. And I want to briefly add a video clip from the recent live event in Fortnite where a large explosion revealed Pandora's box and we now know from the trailer that Dr. Doom is going to make use of Pandora's box and his evil plans. And in this video clip, I have a little bit of a theory about where Fortnite will go within the next year or so. And I'd also like to hear your guys' opinion on that as well, so comment down below. Be sure to like and subscribe, and of course, use code Starheart to support this channel. Oh my god. Extra big ass explosion. It's Pandora's box, that's what it is. It's in the lava right now. Oh, it rebukes me. Look at this, okay, so something, it's still continuing the Pandora's box theme. This Pandora's box is probably the thing they're gonna use to turn back time. Because one of the prevailing theories of next chapter that I'm subscribing to is that six, chapter six, season one, will actually be chapter one, season 11. We're gonna go back in time, but not a flashback. We are just gonna go back and continue the storyline from where it was. Somebody's over here being too much of a tryhard. He's like eliminating people in these in these crazy times. We need a little solidarity here, boys. The Fortnite map is in chaos and turmoil. 